The pain was blinding, but he knew it would be brief. His body was broken, and every breath grew weaker and weaker. Still, he was conscious. He had time to contemplate another mark of shame to be added to his clan's name. Not that any were likely to survive this engagement. It was him, and his men after all. They were responsible for every ill that had befallen his people since they raided the human station. That was one of the first things they had found after the battle, as they pilfered the data course for information. It hadn't even been their enemy. The first shame. He had attacked a neutral clan without the orders or permission of the council. And this clan was, to be put bluntly, simply dangerous. They had come under fire before they had even pulled away from the system. He lost two frigates to the hellish guns of the enemy's fighters. They fought them off, but they hadn't managed to destroy them, and so another wave would soon come. They were relentless. They were escape harrowed by enemies who seemed to materialize from all directions. His withdrawal had turned into a blind panic, as he ordered all of his vessels to split up and flee to friendly systems. The second shame but one that he could have borne, if it had succeeded. Then that was the third and final shame that swim stripped of his place as Grand Elder. The shame that broke his spirit and robbed him of his honours. His ship was the only one that had escaped. He was a coward, and braver warriors than he had died because of his panic. But he was useless to deal in the speculations of what could have been now. At least his prior position had afforded him a chance of redemption. A lesser warrior would have been executed as a criminal, but he had found himself back in the front line, bound by oath to fight and die. And so he fought for two solar cycles for his soul's redemption, as his people's empire crumbled to dust around him. His thoughts were broken by the sound of heavy footsteps. He couldn't muster the strength to move his head, but soon he saw the death that approached him. A human warrior, bearing a white pauldron with the red crescent. He had to admit the poetic justice of his situation, he had sought to them when they were helpless, and so it was what would befall him. The wall began to dim in his vision as he waited for the killing blow, but then he was forced into a silent scream as his executioner began to manipulate his body. The pain was beyond excruciating, and soon the world went dark. He awoke, but fire crawled through his nerves. This was not the hall of the ancestors he had envisioned. Perhaps even his oath was not enough to redeem him in the eyes of the gods, but no. His vision began to clear, and he was orientated slowly to his surroundings. He tried to wipe his eyes, but realised his hand was gone. He gaped in horror before tugging at something on his other arm. His eyes fell on a metal chain that was connected to the bed. Heavy straps held him tight across the chest and legs. At least, what remained of his legs. They had taken him alive. There was no greater shame. An unforgivable shame. He was not worthy of even death. With a sinking dread, he began to wonder at the prospect that would keep him alive in humiliation for his treacherous attack. He was surrounded by a cloth, hung across a rail. It seemed familiar to him, but suddenly was pulled aside, and a human stepped into his... cell. It took note of several machines around him after an appraising glance at his prisoner, seemingly satisfied that he was alert. He looked away to hide the tears, and saw the guards pass the curtain that was left open. Most were unarmored, but again with the white pauldrons, rifles in hand. Over the past two cycles he learned that they were rare, even among their warriors. Perhaps one in thirty. But this place was guarded almost exclusively by them. Perhaps they had taken him prisoner as a trophy, or a sacrifice for the fallen of the initial attack. It was then that his eyes finally rested on a large insignia adorning the far wall, inscribed with the sickly familiar alien runes etched into the recesses of his memory. UNSC, Mercy Station.